Linda Linda Show. We're back. Okay, Linda. Remember cheers. what we said. White wine and our water. And our water. So today we decided to make broccoli rob and sausage with orecchiette. Delicious. Now we uh, we promised you eggplants, but what happened? You went to the store. The eggplant looked like crap. There's no way we're buying crappy eggplants and cooking them for you. So we found this gorgeous broccoli rob. Delicious. And we decided we were gonna make broccoli rob and sausage, because that's how you should cook anyway. You should go to the store, whatever looks good is what you're gonna make. Not because we exactly. promised eggplants. Exactly, I, I totally agree. So now, uh, let's see, let's first let me get this again. This is called broccoli rob. In Italy, we call it rapini. It's from Southern Italy, Campania, Naples, again, where we're from. So we're very familiar with it. It's very, very bitter, and it's really, really good source of vitamins, Linda. It, right? is, it vitamins. has A, C, K, potassium, calcium, and iron. Delicious. Yep. So it comes like this, and you unwind this, open it up, you give it a good rinse, it's really not sandy or anything like spinach would be sometimes, yes. fresh spinach. So you give it a really good rinse. I'm gonna put this down here. Like these, these were rinsed. Right. And now I'm gonna show you how you prep them. And they have like a really kind of a fat stalk. Sometimes it's really big and then I would just cut a lot of it off. But this is kind of normal. So I'm gonna take about two inches off. And then to make sure the the stem cooks at evenly, the same time yeah. evenly. I make like a little cut at the end here and just don't want to say butterfly it. That's it looks like legs. Yeah, you can make and it walk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I'll do the same for these other three. I'm gonna make it a little. This right. is just a little trick that older women in Italy did. So they didn't have to throw away so much stem and they could utilize and make right. abundanza. An abundance of food. Okay, so this is it. And then and just show them how you roughly chop it. Go ahead, Linda. No, you, you do, do that. All right. You're really a pro yeah. at chopping. Yeah, sure. Okay, so we're just going to give it a chop like this. This guy got loose. You could add that That's right to it. the ones yep. we chopped before. And this is what we have here. Okay. And that's that. Okay, so since we did all that chopping right now, we need a sip of wine. <laughs> oh, yes, we do, but. Mm-hmm. Our sausage. Make sure you buy the sausage in the butcher. So we bought, <clears throat> I'm gonna say this was about seven sausages. We removed them out of the casing you know, squeeze them out like frustrations. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> don't even let me say what I want to say. But right. anyway, don't God. say it, Linda. I'm don't not. say it, I'm Linda. not. I'm not. So this is all the sausage, and this is from the butcher. Yeah. Do not get it from the supermarket, like Linda said. Yes. Please. Too much sodium additives. Oh my God, it's horrible. And butcher. the amount of fat that's in there. And maybe like 50, one day 50. we're gonna make our own sausage and show everyone. Like I love Lucy? Yes. Okay, we could do yes, that. Yes, we could absolutely. Do that. So these are the ingredients. The rapini, broccoli rob, or if you really want to know the dialect way of saying broccoli rob in Italian, it's <laughs> rocoli lab. They even <laughs> cut off the B for some reason. Anyway, and then we have garlic, of course. Right here, we have our garlic, we have our Pecorino, and we have peperoncino. Right. Very and important. the garlic this time, we don't need our beautiful little thingamajing because we want to just either cut it in half or just give it a smack and crush it just to flavor the oil yeah. that's going to flavor uh, you everything. You don't need your mouth stinking like garlic. No, no, Linda. Absolutely. You may want to kiss somebody later. Come on. Yeah. Okay, so now, here we go. Okay. So we're actually ready to go here. We have... Okay, so now we're going to... The pot going, heat up the oil. I recommend one of these squeeze bottles for cooking. Recommend the, <laughs> what is that? Right in there. By the way, we have water boiling because by the time this is done, 
the orecchiette will be done. So orecchiette are ear shaped pasta. It's called orecchiette. It's little ears they're called, but I don't know, unless you have round ears, I would <laughs> maybe call these something else. But <laughs> like what? I don't know. Oh I'll my figure God. it out. So we're gonna dump this in some nice I think you just like salted uh, water, Linda, right? Where's the I salted it already, but you know, yes, you did. Water. I don't wanna put it in. There we go. I'm gonna throw these in. Okay. And get them going. Go. It's a ten minute cook. This is the best the checo. But brand. I tell you, I always take it out a minute less than the ten because they're gonna cook when we toss everything. I like my pasta yes. al dente. Mine is yes, al dente. Yes, yes. I don't even think my family can eat my pasta. You do That's like the way pasta I do like dente, it. Linda. Uh, I need a spoon to stir the pasta, Linda. I oh, am. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So we're gonna stir this up. So Linda's getting the oil nice and hot there. Yes. Uh, how much oil you say? I don't know. I'm Cover the say... part of the, the bottom of the pot, right? Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. So I'm gonna cover cover this like this. You don't even have to with this stove. Okay. So now Linda, she's gonna put in. You have your garlic there. Okay. It's not hot enough yet, but Let's you see. know what? No, not yet. A few I'm more minutes. Wait a few more minutes. So what did you do today? Uh, let's see, what did I do today? I think you picked me up and it's been downhill ever well, since. Well, we went to the gym <laughs> and yeah. then we got our wine. Yeah, right? and now we're happy. And now we're happy. <laughs> That's what we did today. That's what we did today. And then we decided we were going to cook. Yeah, and after this show, because because Laura, what's going to happen? No, because Laura wanted food. It's Monday. Okay, it's okay. Monday. And the family wants a Monday meal. Our, Not a Sunday meal. Our Sundays are our, our Mondays. Mm -hmm. So this is what we do on Mondays. Tell them why, Linda. Linda. Because we work on Sundays. Exactly. We work on Sundays. Okay? So I think this should be hot enough now. And if not... It should have sizzled, but it bad. didn't. Too bad. We really don't care. It'll sizzle. It'll, nice it'll pop now. Okay. Oh, it's sizzling, it's Linda. Sizzling. I hear it's it. Sizzling. I hear it. It's sizzling. Let's give it a minute or so. So now here's the. If you like spicy food, we have pepperoncino here. Oh. Now would be a great time as soon as the garlic gets a little yes. golden and translucent to throw in a pinch of pepperoncino. But since but everybody here loves me, we can't do it today because Linda's allergic. Can you believe that shit? I'm allergic to I can't believe it. That's just like not good. It's not. I used to be able to eat it no longer. So we're going to not put it in so I can have some of this after. But they could incorporate it right on their dish if they want it nice and spicy. Yes. Or if they put it now, I'll just leave right now. No, if we put it now. Yeah, you're going to leave? Yeah, I'll not leave. Good, yeah. Not good. Not good. Wait. Let's get our sausage. To... Get the sausage. Okay, sausage Again, the in. sausage is outstanding. Butcher only. No preservatives of any kind. Look at the ratio. If you get it from the supermarket, it's like a 50-50 fat. This is like 20, not even 20% fat. And just so you know, sausage. this entire meal could be made without the sausage. If you're yes, vegetarian, vegetarian or don't like pork, whatever your deal is. You could do this without the sausage. So I'm just going to brown the sausage, which is going to take no time at all. Yes. Because it's out of the casing. So, and we're actually making a one pot meal. Well, two pot meal when you think about the pasta being boiled. But all this gets done in one pot. The broccoli rabe, the sausage, everything. And if you give everybody a fork, they could eat it out of the one pot and you don't have to dirty any dishes. <laughs> ah, that's so true. It's not gonna happen. Like animals. <laughs> really, do you want everyone's saliva? No, not really. Not, no. So we're just gonna let that brown a little. Linda, go have we'll a sip of wine here. while I stir a little for you. Okay, go ahead. Oh, actually, I think you could stir and drink a little sip of wine. You could do everything. Go ahead, do it. Stir and drink. There you go. That's okay. You got it. You got it. Let it just 
brown a little. So now, listen, if you don't want to eat this with pasta, I like it well, not cooked like this, but you could also make a broccoli rub and sausage uh, sandwich. sandwich. Oh my God, that's the best. I gave up white flour for Lent, so that's not happening. And my pasta today is gonna to be made out of whole wheat. That's true. So we're making Cookie. go to Kiatka for the rest of the family, but for me and Linda, we're, we're making have some whole grain pasta. Shells, so. Some shells. Not that happy about healthy. it, but we're but gonna do it. Maybe we'll lose a few pounds. It's not gonna happen, not if you eat five freaking bowls of it. I know. Okay, so this is browning. So some people now would take, after this is browned, would remove it from here, put fresh oil, garlic, and then do the wrap up, but totally no. unnecessary. The Everything set, this gets pot done, yeah. could be used with the broccoli rub in here. I cover it. it. That's it. It'll saute, and that'll be that. So get the broccoli rubs over soon, over here. I'll do this wash broccoli rub. But I still see some don't color worry, in the it's sausage. Don't worry, color. We don't want to kill people, in the, not, at least not the people we love. No. <laughs> I definitely don't want to kill myself. Oh, get okay. everyone else. Oh, is that who you love, Linda? I, I think I'm going to love myself right now. You can do it. You're entitled. I, I mean, I haven't loved myself in a long time. You could do it, Linda. You're entitled. You can do whatever you want. So I I'm, like I'm definitely aprons. gonna make sure this is cooked well. Yes, these aprons came from Capri. What does yours say? Capri, yeah, mine too? No. Yeah. Yes, La Isola di Capri. The island yeah. of Capri. When it used to be yeah. the Liras. When it used to be what? Liras, remember? The oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's Euros? Now it's Euros. Let me tell you, if you ever want to visit Italy, you definitely have to go to Capri. So these are browning, almost there. Oh my God, I'm so hungry now. Linda, beat those sausages, come on now. I, you know. It takes a little muscle, right? Yeah, but you know what? What do you think? We have all the time in the world. Okay, so now, normally, I would have timed this, okay? Because believe it or not, it's pretty true to the timing on the box that it says. Just take it out a minute less. But since I didn't time it, we're going to do what our ancestors did. We're going to take one out. Don't tell me you're going to throw it up against the wall now. Yeah. <laughs> like never heard of that shit in you my life. You never heard of that? You yes, I pop. did, but... Who does that? Two more minutes. Mm. Two more minutes, Linda. Okay. I'm going to have you taste one because I know you're particular I know, I like about. Them. But I'm not eating that pasta. I gave it up for lunch. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Here, now I'm going to throw it up against. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, throw it. No, that's good. I think with spaghetti. Hey, can oh, you want to try? Wait. You want to try one and tell me if you think it's done? <laughs> Give up white flour. Oh, about two minutes. We have a cameraman today. Hope he's doing a good job because you know what he had before he started this. You're gonna have to reserve a little water here. Yes, that's right. That's right. Here. I just went in my cap. My cap is set. So, always, okay, always this is done. When you make this kind of meal, always reserve a little bit of the pasta water because you never know, it might be too dry and then you can't help it. Okay, yeah, now I'm gonna throw the broccoli rabs in, just like that, one pot meal. She's gonna Believe soak. it or not, these things shrink. She's gonna salt and pepper it. Yes. Oh. All that in there. By the way, my hands are clean, so here you go. A little salt. A little mix. What the hell? This pepper. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> 
the wine is kidding? good, huh, Linda? I'm not used to this pepper mill. You're not used to the organic wine you bought today. Deli oh yes, we bought organic wine today. From Calabro, no, Carmelo, Wine and Liquors. Calabro's his last name. And they deliver too. Fantastic. Okay, so I am going to turn this pasta off because I don't want it overdone. Linda, even no, though no. she's not having it, and she wants it really al dente. No, I'm not having that. So I'm just gonna stir. Just get all that together. You want to yeah, get some it? might fall on the floor. Are drained, ready to be mixed in. Okay, now I'm just gonna put the lid on it for a few minutes, a couple of minutes, just to... And I so then eat... come here, what do we wanna talk about for a few minutes while we're waiting for that? I don't know. Come on, you can think of something. No way. Well, Easter's coming up, so what are we gonna make for Easter? Oh, we can, you know, we might Actually, to... I think we're gonna have to do me and you a lasagna. Like, I feel like the family wants traditional lasagna with the little tiny meatballs and the sausage. We could do that, we could do that. You know? We could do that for La Familia. Yeah, we might do that. And of course we're gonna make the leg of lamb. Hopefully it's a nice day outside because we do have a pizza oven out in the back and I would love to make the lamb in there. My husband always wanted to do it. I always said, no, 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 no. But no. now I feel like I just want everybody out in the yard. Right? So they don't make a mess in here, right? <laughs> yeah, just go outside. Leave me alone. Let me go check on our rocks. You do that, Linda. Okay, you talk. Uh, she wants me to talk. I don't know yeah, what she's to say. She's got a lot to say. Yeah, I do. I always have a lot to say. But for some reason, I'm out of words. There's no words. There's no words. So these are cooking down, you see how nice these are? They're going down. They're Go cooking. there, cameraman. All right, it's just gonna be a few more minutes. I kind of like my Rob's not so cooked. I like that little um, crunch. crunch to it, but they're gonna have to go um, down just a little bit more. Couple more minutes. You know, actually now, we should tell you that broccoli rob has like a, a bitter taste to it. So if you have mm. a delicate palate, don't oh make God, this. It's so good. So it's really a bold, bold flavor. It's uh, very bitter. Punchin, I love it. bitter, nutty. Uh, it's absolutely delicious, delicious. So I think you could get the bowl. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Oh wait, Linda, because what we're going to do is, because Linda and I are having the whole grain pasta, we're going to oh, remove yes, a oh couple God. of spoons, put them in here so we could have some for later. Yes, yes, yes. But I feel like it needs to be cooked a little bit more. It will be cooked a little bit more, yeah. You know what? I feel like we could put a little more pepper in there too. Yes, yes. Pepper it up. Okay. I do love black pepper. The aromas are incredible. I know I say that all the time, and when you but put it's the, the truth. pepper and chino in there, it's going to be even better. Why don't you take a piece of this? Of course I time. am. To taste. I'm going to take a big piece here. There you go. Oh, when you dropped That's it, get okay. the same one. Don't, of don't manhandle the I don't freaking drop. Mm. Is it done? It's got a crunch to it, right? Too much of a crunch? A little bit more. Let me just say something. That when you've been making this for many, many years, all you have to do is look at it, and you know that it's not quite ready yet. It's amazing. Like, I knew that that was going to be the result of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna dance a little. Oh, I'm empty. Oh, 99 uh, balloons is on. 
I think you should take some of that. Blanc. It is. It doesn't say. Oh, it let anywhere. me just show us the wine that we're drinking. Okay, this is from Austria. It's an organic wine. Uh, apparently, the sulfates there aren't any or very little of. That's you don't want fabulous. that headache. So we decided to try. It's a grass. It tastes a little grassy, but I think it's got. I lime. think it's really good. Let me see. I it think it tastes lime. This is very good. Very, very good. We got to talk to uh, Carmelo's wine place there. Where grass. We got from. So we're correct. Do we know our shit or what? <laughs> grass. But it's delicious. <laughs> okay, Linda, it's time to take out our portion. Which I'm going to do. Do it, Linda, do it. Okay. I'm a little busy right now. I'm just going to take some out for me and Linda because we're going to have our whole grain. And like I said, guys, this is a one-pot meal. We're not eating a lot, are we, me and you? I'm not even eating right now. I'm eating <laughs> later. <laughs> All right, I think that's plenty for us. Yes. Okay, we're just going to leave ours here. Okay, Linda, I'm going in. I'm going in for the kill. Do it. A little pasta water. Pasta water, everything in this pot. Pasta water Beautiful. and uh, do you want to put the grated cheese now so it gets Absolutely. nice and creamy? Absolutely. Again, Locatelli, you could use other cheeses, but since all these flavors just bounce off each other beautifully. So, let's say I accidentally put this whole bowl in there right oh now. Oh my God, it would It'll be, be fabulous. Fine. It would be just fine. I don't... I put a lot of salt when I'm cooking the sausage and the broccoli raw because the cheese yes. is very salty. So, oh my God, this is so So I'm good. thinking, what was that? About a cup of cheese? Not even yet, right? Mm -mm -mm. No, it's not a cup of cheese. Now, now it's a cup it of is. cheese. Now it's getting so nice now, and creamy. And when people serve themselves, they could put extra cheese and extra um, black pepper on top, pepper and chino. Ladies, look, like. one pot meal, man. This is what it's all about. Linda, let me get a beautiful dish here. Now I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah, I don't like this spoon. Yeah, you have to get a serving spoon. Okay. Now remember, we usually put the pepperoncino in here already, but because Linda's allergic, it's not in here, so. There you go. Okay, here we go. You're gonna taste it, right? Because I can't eat the white. I gave it up for Lent. Hold it, Linda. A little bit more black pepper. Little bit more cheese on top. Yep. You can drizzle. Oops. Got Tiny it. A little bit. bit of olive oil. Here's okay. the cheese. So just uh need a four heads up. She gave up white flour, but she I did not. <laughs> I did. I'm just gonna keep her company later. So I'm gonna put a little grated cheese. Have some look at this. Just look at this. Oh my god. Let me know how it is. With I the will, white flour. I will, I will. Ooh. Get a little bit of sausage. Mm. 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 Oh my God. Oh my God. So good, right? Incredible. It just incredible. This has got more flavor than even me, uh, pasta with sauce. It's just exactly. incredible. And it's so good for you. And a lot of people don't like red sauce. So if you don't like the red sauce, exactly. is, like this is a good option. It is so good. I'm going to have another bite. Go ahead. Fabulous. Now, like I said, the sausage is not so fatty that you feel like you're eating something really unhealthy. From the butcher, they make yes. it very, very yes. easy. 
We're gonna make our own sausage one day. Oh I have a recipe. God. I have a recipe from. It's like a, an ancestry family. story. Yeah. When your family came, yes. like I have that recipe. That recipe is so almost a hundred years old. Yes, I do. Uh, but you know what they put in that sausage? Fennel. I love fennel. I know. I love fennel. fennel. So we gotta try. Anyway, that. this is our broccoli rabe and sausage with orecchiette. Southern Italian style as usual, because that's what we are. We're <laughs> Southern Italian <laughs> style. <laughs> and uh, enjoy. There I you really go. wish you guys would make this. You'd be shocked. Yes. It's so creamy. The cheese melted in and there. And very, it's very so easy to make. Very simple. One pot meal. One pot meal. Cheers. Ciao.